everyone, I'm Alejandra from Alejandra.tv and in this video I'm going to share with you how um, I'm organizing the bathroom so I can find what I'm looking for. It stays nice and organized and I'm just very efficient when I get ready in the morning. But first, if this is your first time watching any of my videos and you're just starting your journey to getting organized, there's a link below to help you get started for free. All right, so right here is the bathroom that Ed and I share and um, there's one sink, there's some countertop and it's pretty basic. What we do is we keep the things that we use on a daily basis, daily or every other day. If it's frequently used, it's kept out within reach. So things you use often, you want to make them nice and accessible so you're not fishing through trying to find what you're looking for. It's just a nice, easy grab. So, um, so if you see it out right here, it's used daily or every other day. And the biggest thing here is there's small things and then there's big things. So if it's small, contain it so it's not floating around and it's not um just i guess floating around is the right word if it's big it just gets like lined up stacked up um it's on its own so all the small things are right here and i use this nice clear three drawer organizer i like that it's clear so i can see inside without having to you know open the drawer to see what's inside and each, each drawer is its own category. So this is like dental stuff, this is mojo stuff, and then this is uh, grooming. And what you can do is you can actually, you can put a label right here if you don't have clear drawers. So then, you know, you know what the category is, but um, I don't have my label maker and the drawers are clear. So it's great as is. Now, what I did at the bottom was I puttied down the drawer organizer so it's not gonna shift around. Um, it's just nice and puttied down. And the putty I use, I'll show you what it is. It's this stuff right here. It's um, called Museum Putty and it works really well. It doesn't damage surfaces and it just really holds things in place. All right, um, I will put a link to this below if you're wondering more about this. All right, so the big things right here that we use every day are in this tray. So this tray was already here. It works great because whenever uh, you clean the counter, instead of like having to move every single thing, you just pick up the tray, move the whole tray, and everything moves at once. Um, this is where we're living right now is a rental, so this is not our bathroom, so it's not, you know, my stuff, but um, the tray works well. So I just have the things, the big things right there. And then there's some more big things, lotion, um, spray, mojos, dental wipes. And then these two bags right here, um, I have a bunch of like small cosmetic samples, like hotel samples and stuff that I'm using right now. Um, so I keep them out as a reminder to use them because I find that if I can see things, I remember to use them because I'm so visual. So keep those in plain sight. All right, so over here is our toothbrush and toothbrush holder. And what's great about this is I have this cord organizer on the cord. So the excess cord doesn't just dangle and it's near the water. It's just kind of just away into this cord organizer that you just open up just like this and it just wraps around this wheel and then you close it and it's like this nice donut that just hangs out right there. It's so awesome. So. A, um, a great habit to get into for keeping up and cleaning and keeping up with the organization in your bathroom is to do a little bit at a time before you go to bed, spend five minutes making the space better than it is. So putting cosmetics away, putting anything that's out, if there's like clothes on the floor, taking the clothes, putting them in the laundry or wherever they belong, but just doing a little bit at a time. A good motto is leave it better than you found it kind of like nature. Do the same thing with the spaces in your house before you go to bed, in your bathroom. How can I leave it better than I found it? And maybe you just take one thing. If you don't want to do your five minutes or you don't feel like doing your five minutes, just do one thing. Just leave it better than you found it. It's a great habit to get into. Okay, so on the shelf down here is things we don't use as often. So weekly, monthly, seasonally. Um, and so what you want to do is keep things that you don't use as often lower or higher, just not within reach. Save the stuff within reach for the, like the prime real estate for the everyday stuff. All right, so, um, so what I'm doing is I'm using all of my travel bags um, right now because we're in transition as organizers. So this has all of my small hair stuff in the big one. 
um, makeup goes in the medium size one and then long makeup stuff like brushes mascara if it's long and it's makeup it goes inside this bag right here all right and then in the back of the shelf so the back of the shelf has even less frequently used items um, like monthly stuff and seasonal stuff and just stuff that we're not using weekly this is more like weekly back there is monthly and again because these things are all small they get contained inside of an organizer and because those things are big they just get stacked and lined up next to each other back there all right and so ed's cosmetic bag is right here his side my side and then on this side there's these three baskets that were already here when we temporarily moved into the space and they work great for um, this size shelf so right here i just have all of my uh, big hair stuff so it's the blow dryer the flat iron the brushes and stuff and then right here i just have all of um like bulk backup stuff that goes it's like bulk backup of stuff that 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 stays on top of the counter. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. And then in this one right here, this has, um, let's see, there's feminine care, there's stuff for Mojo, and then there's some small medications and more backup stuff, but smaller stuff. This is more of like the, the, um, the big backup stuff, and this is more like the small backup stuff. And then at the very end of the, um, the shelf is cleaning supplies. And then behind these baskets, because these baskets are, the shelf is deeper than the basket, so there's space behind it. I just have extra rolls of toilet paper um, that just get kept back there. All right, and um, that's it. And then in the shower, I also want to say in the shower, um, only keep the things that you use on a daily basis um, so instead of having like five shampoos just have one shampoo when you finish this shampoo recycle the bottle bring in the next shampoo but don't have like five of something open at a time because then the shower just gets cluttered it makes it hard to clean it makes it hard to squeegee and stuff um, so just have one of everything open and when you're organizing your bathroom i think the bathroom is such a fun place to organize because it's a small space you get to see progress fast just have fun with it. Ask yourself questions. What do you use daily? If you use it daily, keep it accessible. What do you use weekly or monthly? Put that on the lower shelf or in the cabinet or in a drawer or something. Um, just have fun. Make your systems work for you. If you set up a system and you find that it's still not working or it's difficult to access, it can always be tweaked down the road. These are not permanent systems. So just have fun, find what works and um, just enjoy yourself while you do it. That's like one of the most important things is just have fun while you do it. Bring your best self and see what kind of systems you can create. Thanks for watching. If you're looking for more support on your journey to getting organized, there's tools and training on my website, alejandro.tv. Thanks for watching. I'm grateful you're here and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.